Hi Virgo, here's a general look at your solar chart for May 2009. And I would say that this month, Virgo, by taking care of the small things, you'll be serving your larger purpose. You are continuing a period of transition in your life. And it's a gradual transition from the old scenario to the new one. And uh, there will be some um, highs and lows this month. But there's a lovely expansive energy around so uh, and this energy is targeting your area of health that's your own or somebody else's and employment uh, or what it is that you're just doing on a daily basis you know your routines and in fact this expansive energy in that area means there's a lot to learn in those two areas of your life and this month will will be it'll be particularly um targeting there but there's going to be a little bit of fairy dust coming in there it's just, it's like the opportunity swimming around in the ether as it were because it's a very ethereal energy in in that area of your chart health employment you know daily routines um anything which will improve well-being your own or somebody else's and uh in fact your skills as well as because this is very ethereal energy, Jupiter and Neptune, this is a golden opportunity for you to really uh, plug into that, connect on those more subtle planes this month. So here we have to sort of uh, 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 maybe uh, raise raise awareness or raise your awareness uh, 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 um, with regard to uh, natural healing, you know, uh, holistic healing, alternative healing, that kind of thing. But also, you're very guided this month as well. Now, if it's applied to work, then uh, again there, there might be uh, maybe somebody who wants you to um, do a little bit more than you signed up for, you know, and you end up putting yourself out uh, a little bit more for somebody. Now, if you feel, or for some cause, if you feel that it's worth it, that it's going to be worth it by doing this, then by all means go ahead. But also the flip side of this vibration is that um, you can get taken advantage of. Um, uh, Neptune in that area of your charts, middle name is self-sacrifice and also uh, boundaries. You know, it's it's completely boundaryless Neptune. So you need to make sure that you are setting those boundaries, drawing that line in the sand and say, okay, I'm all yours up until this time here and then I'm off. Um, as far as you can, of course, you know, because nothing is ever straightforward with Neptune, especially when he teams up with Jupiter. So you might find that there are some, you know, some confusing times when uh, things just aren't clear cut. But also because you're very guided this month, um, you should just listen to your gut feeling about what is appropriate to do now. Definitely this is going to be a month when there will be some intense moments and also for some of you a real bonding going on with somebody. You know it can be an emotional time as well and there's this real feeling of getting to know somebody much better and understanding them much better and and uh, also there's support there's going to be support there for you Virgo this month somebody who knows what's in your heart as well so um, I think you're going to make a, an incredible leap forwards this month but it means focus and it means uh, perseverance and a certain amount of patience you have this heavier energy around anyway all year as many of you will know um, and that's Saturn and, and it's a palpable tangible um, example of, uh, of how these planetary energies affect our lives usually through a Saturn transit we think it's never going to end and it's a bit like climbing a mountain with a sack of rocks in a, in a bag on our back you know um, this the, this will be felt mostly at the moment by those of you who are born um, from the end of the first week of September uh, it's about between the about the sixth and the and the ninth somewhere there the fifth and the, and the ninth uh, but you'll know what I'm talking about 
So because of that, um, you know, you might have your head down. So what I would say to you is look up, look up at the trees, look up at the sky. It helps enormously. Uh, so you're in this gear change and you could actually um, run up against people whose opinions or whose background is very different to your own. So you're going to have to be flexible and you're going to have to take this philosophical view, but also you must stand firm in what your, what your body, your gut is telling you because boy oh boy, you can really trust it this month. So there's going to be the support for you. There's going to be a hell of a lot of learning to do uh, this month. It's a spiritual, insightful month, um, but it's also a month for you finally to sort of start picking out of the egg, breaking out of restrictions and start birthing into this new time. Now, on a material level, a lot of you will be looking at, you know, ha have your mind on the bank account. Um, maybe property will be uh, involved and, and, and other types of assets as well. Uh, but you have a beautiful balancing energy for Venus helping you there. So maybe you can reschedule something. Um, people will be more sympathetic to what you're, you know, um, what you're suggesting uh, to them. But also a good time for buying and selling uh, as well. A uh, good time for uh, negotiating a contract. Good time for, you know, getting yourself... Um, uh, improving your financial situation. Um, uh, Venus attracts, so all you have to do, um, and I know you've got a lot on your plate this month, but all you have to do is kind of reach out to that because Venus is going to be around until just the very beginning of June in that area, so best to capitalize on her uh, grace and favor in that department of your life. And you're likely to be more successful than you expected in those sorts of areas there. Uh, so as I say, vibrational, holistic type healing is a spiritual time. It's a time for you to connect very much, to plug into all of that free stuff, all of that invisible free stuff that's around everywhere all of the time and not be too much of the dog's body, you know, which is a, a possibility and also not uh, assume uh, that maybe what somebody is telling you is necessarily the absolute God's truth because as a matter of fact I think this month you should get a second and maybe even a third and fourth opinion on something if it's related to health or in fact the employment. What somebody says isn't necessarily um, the God's honest truth so I uh, just watch out for that one as well. I'm not saying it wouldn't be but I would just be cautious in that area there particularly related to employment and uh, health and um, Protection is necessary this month as well. I've already mentioned that. So if you take this patient, philosophical, step-by-step -step approach, you're going to go. Uh, you're going to come into this, start birthing into this new time in May, and uh, I think you're going to be into this new area of your life in June. So that's something to look forward to. Well, that's it for May. If you know your rising sign, have a listen to that too.